the nation's capital. You're a wonderful writer. Thank That's you. very kind of you to say. Oh, Thank you. Very kind of you to write. Gosh. First today. We're going to Martin's Tavern in Georgetown where the young Senator JFK used to go for his breakfast. Yeah, that's good. Just keep charging along here as rapidly as we can. Why do I not think that Christianity is good for the world? We have come, ladies and gentlemen, to this. Don't tell me that by adding the word religion to the argument that you say that abolishes relativism. Religious morality is just as relative, just as subject to evolution. Grow, I mean it, I mean it, Douglas, grow up. You have to. By what standard do you condemn any action? I tell you how I make up my mind on things. I look at the evidence as well as I can. I try and find out as much of it as I can. I, I make allowance for my own, what I wish would be the case. And I try and discount for it. And then I come, try and come to a conclusion. Have you not noticed? that religious preachments that used to be absolute um, have evolved too. The church used to say, if you sin, you will go to hell. You'll, you'll burn forever. Or the Catholic Church used to say until recently, if, you, if your child isn't baptized, we won't say hell, but we will say limbo. And now they say, actually, you're not so sure about that. See a woman thrown to the ground in the street by a man or two men and kicked hard in the stomach, kicked in the uterus. What is your instant reaction? Is it one of revulsion? or not. <coughs> Who's going to say they're indifferent? You're perfectly welcome to do so if you like. Do you need divine permission for this? I would say not. I had another question. The woman is visibly pregnant. Does that make it seem more revolting to you? Is your revulsion but thereby increased? Who would not say yes to that? Planned Parenthood. What? what? <laughs> Who would not say yes to that? Be, no, don't be flippant. I'm not being I'm not, not being Don't be flippant. If it's, a, if it's a common moral property, then why, when you see a woman being kicked in that fashion? To be more consistent, and this is why I was emphatically not being flippant, people would run up and say to the kicker, do you have a license? Don't, don't you know the place for that is down the street? And, and you have to advertise in the yellow pages? And you have to get funding from Congress? What do you mean flippant? Where do you think you got that knowledge? Did you get it from Sunday school? I believe this is, this is our common moral property. That without it, we're lost. That if we say we only owe it to the, the beneficence of a dictator, we have volunteered to become serfs. You can be an atheist and you can be a sadomasochist. You can be an atheist and a psychopath. You can be an atheist and be a fascist. To be a communist, you practically have to be an atheist. It doesn't commit you to anything. Uh, but it does certainly not, not commit you to the absurd belief that if you don't have a supernatural belief, you have no morals.